All right, this is just a test. I'm testing to see if I am in a good position to uh, do a vlog today and get up on the air a little bit. I'm not having good lighting. <laughs> Change my chair around a little bit. <laughs> How you take a test unless it's semi rehearsal? Chilling down my front room. I'm checking my lighting. I think it's just it's adjusting itself back and forth. other side of my face is pausing let's see that might have brightened me up a little bit just a little bit a little bit more brightening oh my god I should have never touched it I love it I don't like when things are in your way. Hmm. Huh. there. Alright. Let's get my... What's up in my eye? Oh gosh, girl. Stop on your face. Look like I did my eyebrows, but... I just, I just kind of cut them out my own way. Let's see if we can get started. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Lisa Duke's channel. I'm going to be trying to demo this uh, Fenty shadow. It's been kind of all over YouTube. I got the number six palette in my hand. These palettes look humongous on YouTube as you look at all these wonderful vlogs. This is the front of it. This is the back of it. And they look huge, but they are actually small. How small? I say smaller than a bar of soap. Like a bar of soap, like the way I'm holding it. It looks huge, but a bar of soap will probably stop maybe about here. She's really small. Yeah. And you can find her on the Fenty website and or Sephora. Let's open it. Holding it upside down. These are the shadows. And if I take my time and just want to swatch on each one. Wow, oh, that black is really powdery. My first time really swatching it, watching it, <laughs> swatching ink. <laughs> and so we have a total of six that we're swatching for you at this very moment. And these are like uh, this is black, shimmery black, or purple, looks like a most tan. How am I showing this to you? Upside down, like a shimmer. There's a black. There's another black. I guess matte, a matte black, a shimmer. There's purple. Looks like a almost olive, olive gray, and then like a highlight, kind of beige color. So some of those colors you can see on my skin, especially like the beige one, and then there's that almost purple. Probably. Um, you can definitely build them up because of how they are showing at this moment. Right? Okay. So, now I've got that out of the way. Let's try her on her on our eyes. And I need to get a couple things to um, clean my fingers because we don't want it to work like that. Ooh. 
Just put a simple band on so I can really see what I'm doing. A little bit of a lip smacker layer. Lay it. Pomegranate and lemon lemonade on the dollar tray. Yeah. Look at that. You got this on this side. And then you got the little gloss on this side. I believe I have one on hand. If you happen to see any in the dollar store, Dollar Tree, up like that. That's what it looks like. Okay. Let's get into it here. Prime my eyes with Tatcha Silk Canvas. Oh, because I'm from the where am stuff in front of me. <laughs> All right, um, a pretty much clean blending brush, another blending brush, and one to pack it on. It's the one that packs on. It's flat. It looks a little bit out of park. And these are your blending brushes. I think this, this is when we're trying to just put a color on it and then just blend it out. Take our time. Because after all, we're all makeup artists now. Um, um, I think I want to play with second date. Second date is more of a gray color here at the bottom. Second date, and then we'll try the maybe the patty cakes or the, the patty cakes or the chestnut, and then we got the you up. Yeah, we could probably try to do that in our eyebrow. So, where am I? second date second date second date is not where it, i think it should be and that's something second date is far as i know is up here let me swatch make sure i'm getting the right color here second date i don't think second date is on the right side because second date is more of a, like a gray one is gray and one is brown. Hmm. Okay, maybe we'll go with this glitter stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead into this top one here, the very top. I'm gonna just concentrate. I know a lot of people don't uh, recommend you close your eye. My, I need to close my eye so I can see what I'm doing right here. So right here at the bottom. This is very nice on top of the Tatcha silk canvas, you know, going just back and forth, just gently. That's why it looks so, um, I don't know if ever, effervescent is the correct word to use at this very time and moment, but that's, or maybe effortless because they, a lot of, a lot of the, um, YouTubers out here with the work with the makeup, they really... I need mirror. They really uh, pay attention to their craft and do what's necessary to make I have this mirror because I really need to see to make everything look I don't know, comfortless. You know. Let's see. Her over there. I really need this mirror. Perfectly good. Good. The light's still good. I want you to watch and see how I play, but I also want to see, is it going on? And I guess that's the way it is. Getting close to you guys. You be in my mirror right now. And I am holding it back here with the tip. And just going back and forth, which is a probably good thing, where the circles or whatever you're doing here. And you feel it against your skin, but very lightly, very gently. And you know why that's a good thing? Why? Because it helps you not mess up. Boop. Who knew? <laughs> it helps you not mess up. And this is going on very nice. Tapping it into inside the uh, shadow. I'm going to go over again. A little smoky there effect there. Coming out of the brush. I could have tapped it. 
don't think I see too much fallout. I could have got a little bit more on the brush. A little bit more. All right, I'm going to try to pack on that uh, stick up right there. I could have kept going, couldn't I? It is going on. We can tell, right? It is going on. So, with the excess, you can just kind of fan it out over our eye. What I have been doing, I, I believe I'm going to put what I'm referring to inside the uh, the title of the vlog because watching these two specific specific get my words together pronounce them correctly it's been helping me so she's basically on we could have kept going but that's okay we need to move on to our next color and this light and Use my finger for a hot and sit her down for one little hot second because I can't see her right now. Get our, get our stuff out. I'm gonna try this bottom one here. Um, we're guessing it's called because the way they the way they're put on here, like this one is that one and that one is this one. That's my dilemma. Anywho, <laughs> let me use this bottom one. This is like a black shimmer. And maybe, I think I'll keep using it. I'll tap it twice here. I have to tap the back of my brush. And I could tap it ever so gently. Grab that 10 magnification mirror so you can see your ancestors as well as yourself. And try to apply. Mm hmm I'm going to try tapping. Just to me, that should do it, you know? Sometimes I try uh, swiping, going this way. And see if the color will just go. On my specific uh, skin, Pour it to the side, brings off the color better. Oh yeah, she's covered. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's got coverage with the Tatcha Silk Canvas. She's got coverage. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, very good. Let me try the little mini mirror. Tap on both sides. That was at least a good four times. And we'll try y'all. Hold it to the side. I'm just gonna hold the pencil this way. I'll hold it to the tip right here to the tip. Right here. And then apply her on. Not bad. Get in there. Let's get that mirror back. Uh, hmm, she looking good. I'm about to go out here and check with my, you know, I'm going to check with my, uh, my sidekick, my sidekick, my hallway with mirror. Well, she's going on, okay. Maybe we'll just get our next brush and try to play around that purple. Let's see what she's talking about. Let's stick you right there. Yeah, we got some change, loose change over here. Some random change in the background. Excuse me. I felt like one of these was purple, and that would be the patty cakes. And I think the patty cakes, they like flip flop it. Like this particular color is not here, it's there, and this color is there. Let me let that around. <laughs> <laughs> okay I'm not uh, confident in the shadows because um, I've been I've definitely been and I'm tapping off the excess, excess. I've definitely been a YouTube uh, I'm going to hear it a lot excuse me for repetitive 
repeating myself. One of those for, for doing that, but I just want to I just want to say that I've not seen or heard a lot of people really rant and rave about the Fenty Shadows. I know Mrs. Jackie Anna has definitely brought it up a lot, but not enough to make me just go, hmm. So yeah, not enough to run out and buy them. These shadows appeal appeal to me because of their uh aesthetic the way they are built um i kind of went back and forth a little bit with the purple mm -hmm. this is very light and i'm holding it at the very tip of the brush this still could have went another way but <laughs> i'm all over the place all right give me that purple let's go where it's not supposed to be. The purple is supposed to be on top, and the other one is supposed to be at the, uh, the, uh, the opposite direction. Yes, there is fallout. And I could have just left it like this, one, two. I could have just left it one, two, and that's it. But with that extra purple, as you can kind of see, it does bring the look a different way. So we could have went just without, without that one color, one, two colors, or the three colors I guess you let me know in the comments I'll leave this alone because I kind of like the one color there might be some left here not that much more very light because it looks very effortless when when the women do it here and I want to learn how you do it effortless and yeah. And to do it effortless, you might as well, I'm sure. In order to do it effortless, you have to lightly touch the skin. Look at that. It's kind of cool. Despite my eyebrows not being there. Uh, looking for where I keep everything. Where do you keep everything in this establishment? <laughs> I see one right here. For the eyebrow. This eyebrow looking right and it's a little bit brush it down or something. I've been kind of cutting them with my little cutter thing here, which I may whip out and show you. It's the portal eyebrow people. Don't get that money as much because <clears throat> I can just go ahead and do it myself, you know. That's just my regular eyebrow. One a little shorter than it. Well, one is cut different than the other. Okay. I'm basically done. I think this purple is too much. I shouldn't have done that. Should have just keep it simple like this. One, two, boom, boom. And then, um, to use that brush, you could probably highlight where you at. The, or, uh, the one that says you up. That would be this one. Are you, yeah, not are you, but it says you up. Yeah. Um, what do you mean when you're using this brush? How do I turn it off a little bit? That purple off. Go back into you up. Um, it's more like they get that under the eyebrow. Yeah, it's okay. I'm, I totally, to be honest, I only wanted, to be honest, I only wanted number six, number seven. I really didn't even want that one. I was actually, my original numbers were six and eight. Because all the other ones, I'm like, oh, I kind of got that. And so six and eight. But now I like uh, six, eight, and then uh, seven and four of the Fenty Shadows. This is a nice little eyeball. Like, look. Mm, it gave it a nice shimmer and pop out see what the sidekick uh, hallway mirror says be right back <laughs> hope I didn't scare you but <laughs> you change change so one more time <laughs> all right let's get into it okay best that we can um
Fenty, I have the Smoky Palette. Fenty Smoky Palette. Um, on top of it looks like black and bluish, like a beige, purple, and brown. That's the number six. This is the packaging, which is small. All right, the shimmer, you can see the shimmer. The purple, it was a little much for me. I think purple and the other color I used was a little much, but it's there if I want to go that direction. Other than, but I'm not want to because I need to use it. You can kind of still see them on me yet. Um, I do, so just using two colors, probably the shimmer one here and the possible gray looks good together. Uh, the shimmer on the lid and the gray in the crease is a very um, everyday look. We had not finished. What is this I have here? This is Rimmel. Who knew? This was, I don't know where I got this from my little girlfriend. For my local be supply store or what? So I can put a little bit at the very bottom of the eye. Don't have to do the whole eye. Do half of it. That would be fine. Could do a little bit more at the bottom. I can do that. Put her back. And this is from Tarte Big Ego. Uh, can't think of the palette it's from. I had to grab it and read it real quick. Uh, nothing like when you want to remember something. It's like you can really see it. You can picture it. But I can't call. Ooh, I strong. Like Home Depot. <laughs> Home Depot makeup. Let's give that a little lift. Does that make any difference in our eyes? Okay. Almost there now. It's just a little wet a little everywhere. But maybe I'll stick with maybe two colors out of that palette and then maybe try the other ones later. What is the name of that palette by Tarte? I can't call it and it's not on here. Mm-mm. It just says mascara. What is that? I couldn't think of it. <laughs> Look pretty good with the purple, with the burgundy hair. Not bad. Not bad. I think we already did this, didn't we? I'm doing it a little bit more. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. The other color I got for my birthday. I can't call it. But these are the shadows for Fenty. Grab that palette and so I can <laughs> like, what was it? And I don't leave people like that. Let me go grab it and put it back. That mascara is from the Tarte Unleashed palette. It comes with the mascara. Tarte Unleashed. So thank you all for, for coming by as I begin to clean up. Clean up all my brushes here and put myself back together. I think it came out pretty good. We didn't have to do a whole lot. I had concerns about this, this palette because I definitely watched a lot of uh, reviews, demos on YouTube, and I was like, what am I gonna do? Especially with that, uh, the black shade right here. It's on one swatch, it just comes out so, and it is dry, it is it's dry. It's not, it's not something I'm used to. I'm not used to a, uh, eyeshadow not being you know soft and you know mushy that you could use you know so thank you all for coming by at this time i hope you enjoyed what we did here on today what is that that what is that shows in my head that sands through the hourglass so these so are these the days of our lives why well, don't want to say that right now you two make me act silly Thank you so much, y'all. Thank you for coming by. I pray you subscribe. I don't always talk about subscribing, but I just 
what people do. I'm just a different kind of YouTuber. Tuber, YouTuber, YouTuber. I may not say it all the time, but I, 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 I hope and that you'd like to subscribe. I hope you like what uh, this channel represents. It represents uh, the Christian YouTuber out here, born again, um, uh, the, the the better half, the wife of the Apostle Kingdom Ministries on YouTube. I believe also under uh, Apostle Charles Dukes on YouTube. Yeah, this is look. It's not looking bad, but I mean the purple is the time and the place. Maybe the purple should have went on the lid. Maybe try that next time. Yeah, with maybe the brown. Maybe take it, take it two shades at a time for me, until I'm comfortable. But um, this this look came out pretty pretty good. I haven't done the eyebrow yet, but I just actually did three colors. I did the the shimmer on the eye. I did like a gray here inside the crease, and then up at the top I did a like very light. You can kind of see this. It's like right here. This color you can you can barely see it. I put that right there. You can see the shimmer. Alright, can't wait to see y'all soon. Mama, maybe.